There are very few things that I downright hate. I cannot be a fan of certain things or recognize that something's just not for me, but it's incredibly rare for my dislike towards something to build onto a seething hatred. And trouble is one of these rare occasions. Now some of you out there know about this comic, but not everybody, so just let me explain. Trouble by Mark Millar is a comic book about the conception of Peter Parker. Yeah, it's about a young Aunt May, Uncle Ben, and Peter's parents when, you know, they were alive. To sum this up pretty quickly, Richard and Ben are brothers, Mary and May are best friends, Ben and May become a couple, and the other two do the same. But then May gets, like, bored or something, and she just fucks Richard 47 times. That's not a fucking joke, they canonically have a speech bubble in the comic where she admits to fucking him 47 times. Needless to say, May gets pregnant, Ben leaves, Richard cries like a little bitch, and Mary tries to help May for some reason. And I kid you not, on the same page where she said she's not gonna run away from her problems and she's going to accept what she's done, May steals all of Mary's money and runs off with some random old guy named Paolo, who she doesn't like, no one wants to fuck, but acts like she's his girlfriend for months until she just leaves all of a sudden. If she was basically rich, why did she stay with him? If nothing changed, why did she wait till now to leave? And then the comic ends with May and Richard taking in Peter as their own and getting married. And the final page ends on this dumb will they or won't they cliffhanger involving Ben and May, and I just fucking can't at this point. The reason I hate this comic is that it kind of spits on how sweet and wholesome Peter's family is. In almost all of Spider-Man media, his upbringing from his parents to his aunt and his uncle are the reason he turned out to be such a great superhero. Peter is like the sweetest superhero in the Marvel Universe, not because of his powers, but because of the values that his family ingrained in him from a young age. If he didn't have his parents, and more importantly, if he didn't have Ben and May, he'd be a completely different person. So showing us these pillars, these important people in Peter's life as immature, young, naive teenagers isn't that good of an idea. Like imagine you're talking to an older relative and they say, I know exactly what you're going through. You accept that they were your age too and that they've been young and naive as well. You know, like a normal person. You don't immediately try to imagine their sex life from when they were 18. And that's one of the reasons I thought that proposed Aunt May spy movie was a terrible idea. Aunt May is the best caregiver in all comics. Ben is the grandpa everybody wishes they had. And Peter's parents are usually dead. But when they're shown, they're pretty nice as well. They don't need to be anything more. But this comic paints May as somebody who's hungry for as much dick as she can get. Mary as an idiot for wanting to stay a virgin for a while, and Richard gets it the worst. Even in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, despite being the most out of place part of them, he did his best to be a good dad. But this comic paints him as a pathetic asshole. He's absolutely sex crazed, but not in like an innocent way or a funny way, kind of in like a garbage human being way. He does shit like curses his girlfriend's name after she leaves the room because she wants to take it slow. I really think that this is supposed to be a comedic moment, but it's just fucking disgusting. And by the end, he has this whole fucking monologue about how he's shallow and now he wants to stay with Mary because she fucked him for the first time. I get that this is supposed to be development, but it's not. This is fucking terrible. And now we get to May, my absolute least favorite character of the whole bunch. She's just as bad as Richard, but she's the main character and therefore has more focus. Therefore, I hate her even more. She fucks Ben. She fucks Richard. She plays strip poker with random men while she's still involved with both brothers. And then she gets offended when her best friend says that she's acting like a tramp. By the last chapter, Mary is pissed at May for all the shit she's done, but May just threatens to kill herself and begs for help, so Mary takes in Peter as her own son. What kind of fucking main character is this? And the comic has the balls to claim that May genuinely likes Ben but she just thought that the sex could be more interesting. So instead of being an adult and talking to him about it and trying to see if he can get better at it, she just fucks his brother. Her first kiss with Richard is the cover. Yeah, that's the fucking cover that I had to see every single time that I grabbed this book, which, mind you, will be never again. Let's detour really quick to talk about something more positive. One of the best stories about teenagers wanting to have sex is super bad. Not just because all the characters try to have sex and fail or they just suck at it, but because they're interesting, likable characters. When Seth wants to get with Jules, or Evan wants to get with Becca, or Fogel wants to get with that one red head chick that everybody masturbated to, don't you fucking lie to me. We actually cared. Because it's both funny and we give a shit about the characters. But when you take that away and you make the main characters overconfident, rude, obnoxious assholes, 
you basically become every shitty sex comedy film that nobody remembers. And that is exactly why this is the worst Spider-Man comic. Say what you will about Sin's past One More Day and the Clone Saga, but at least those were new ideas for the Spider-Man mythos. Don't get me wrong, they were all terrible, and some were just made to reset the status quo. But at least, they were Spider-Man stories. But Justice, Marion may have red hair and blonde hair. It's poetry. It rhymes! So what, you think hair color matching other established characters makes it into a good Spider-Man comic? No! If you honestly take out the Spider-Man aspect of trouble, it's less shocking. Because then it's just a shitty teenage sex story. This thing has no business being a Spider-Man comic. And that's why this is hands down the worst Spider-Man comic I have ever read. And if you see a copy, fucking burn it. I would burn mine, but it took about four weeks to come in the mail, and I, uh... I don't feel like burning it. Took a long time for that bitch to get here, even though it only came from Kentucky. The fuck took them so long? Anyways, 0 out of 10. Fuck this comic.